What's up, little shy big eye peepers? It's your girl, little shy big eyes. So, it's now like the end of December 5th. So, technically, Vlogmas day 5. Um, I let you guys know that, um, you know, Wi Fi and my data is sketchy. So, I'll chronicle, but I don't necessarily get the opportunity to post. Um, thanks to, um, I don't know, I, I don't want to put them on Front Street because, you know, sharing my story um, is one thing, but putting someone else's business out there is another. So, like, I don't want, um, you know, I mean, it's just like, you know, you have a parent, your parent is a, an alcoholic, or your parent is a drug addict, or your parent is homeless. You don't want everybody to know, you know? So, not saying that that's who I'm protecting, but I just um, want to respect the people in my life. Um, and try to chronicle my journey without exposing too much. So, um, all that being said, thank you to, um, Jackie, who, um, donated and to, um, Eric? Was it Eric or Rick who donated? I don't know how to thank you guys. Um, so just to give you guys a little bit um, to catch up. On Thursday, I went to, uh, I went to work. I was able to make enough money to buy a bus ticket. Um, there's a place in Baltimore called, uh, Paraxel. Um, they do clinical trials and they had a clinical trial and, um, so I went out to Baltimore. I took the bus. It was an 11 hour bus ride. I went out there to potentially be, um, a um, I guess, a, you know, a, a candidate. And, um, uh, one of the selected people of the study. Um, that whole journey was with, not without drama. So I, we get on the bus I get on the bus. It's in a sketchy area. Of those of you who know Atlanta, you know downtown by, um, oh my gosh, what is the train station? Um, let me think. Um... It's right off of um it's the it's the stop after five points. It's right by where um the Greyhound station and Magic City is at. Um and there's so much going on over there, like homeless people, like the guys are aggressive and it's like women are being pimped and snatched up over there. It's like really not a good area so if you're i'm saying all this to say if you are coming into atlanta you have no family but you are aspiring to be a singer um an actress or you just want to try atlanta out steer clear 
of that area. Um, I don't know why it isn't coming to me, but you'll know it when you see it. Um, again, it's this, it's the next stop after five points. It's right by Magic City and the Greyhound bus station. I, um, actually took Panda bus, which was significantly cheaper. And when I got to the bus stop, I'm like, what? <laughs> it's a bunch of homeless people, homeless men, um, lined up. Um, and they're arguing, and they're fighting, and they're hustling. Um, and it's like, it's just really not a space or a place where you want to um, lay your guard down or feel comfortable at all. Anyway, so I get on the bus, and well into um, South Carolina, the troopers stop our driver and say that the canines smelled something i don't know smelled something <laughs> a moving bus <laughs> canine smelt something on a moving bus so now they have us stopped on the side of the road and they proceed to take everyone's luggage out from underneath the bus open it up and check it and then they make us get out of the bus leave our um bags on the bus and they check everything um they were white, yes, of course, and we were black, and there were a majority of young black men on the bus with me. I think there were about three women and a baby on the bus. And so, yeah, they put us through that. Um, and they found nothing, of course. They found not one thing. But they rationalized their behavior and sent us on our way. And, and shout out to the young men on that bus who kept their calm because I was upset. I was angry. It was cold. It was late. Like It was just uncalled for. Um, but yeah, shout out to those, those young men who kept their composure and um, just let them do what they wanted to do. And we went about our business so um now uh 11 hours later i make it into baltimore and um i go through the whole screening process only to get down to where they're ready to take my blood they've taken my urine and the young lady comes to me and she says oh ma'am i'm so sorry we aren't going to be taking your blood because your urine shows continent content contentanine or basically it's like nicotine in my system and i'm like well like, i don't smoke um that's that can't be possible and she's like well you know it's it detects secondhand smoke as well and so um i'm saying all this to say because as we were waiting for them to um <laughs> basically um, run, ransack the bus and find out that there's nothing in it, illegal substance or what have you. They have us sequestered in this like bubble, like outside, but we're all stuck together. And so everybody's smoking, you know, can you imagine, um, the, 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 the anxiety and everybody's smoking, like chain smoking. Cause we're out there for at least, 10 to 15 minutes while they do whatever it is they're doing and so uh, the ladies expressing to me that that could have been when I was exposed to the cigarette but nonetheless I'm disqualified because it's in my system so I just literally <laughs> took a bus 11 hours uh -huh. <laughs> um mind you I didn't have enough in my account because it's 11 hours on the bus, but then I still needed to take two more buses. Um, and because of that whole um, giddy up from South Carolina patrol, I was behind schedule and would have been majorly late. So um, instead of taking those additional two city buses, 
I took a leap of faith and I got in somebody's car. Like I said, um, sir, I'll give you ten dollars. I'll pay you ten dollars cash app if you drive me here. And thank God he was a God fearing man. Um, shout out to you and your wife. I appreciate you both. Prayers, all of that. But yeah, so I was disqualified and now I'm finding myself um asked out. So if I had gone through that whole screening process with clean um, specimens, it would have been $100. Had I been selected for that trial, it would have been $4,300. So now you guys, I think, can understand why I um, went out there and why I spent the, the money and the time. Those of you who are interested in doing clinical trials, the name of the um, company is called Paraxel, P-A-R-A-X-E-L, Baltimore. Just um, Google it, it will come up, and you look for um, available clinical trials. There is criteria as far as your BMI, your height, your weight, um, your age, but they do have quite a bit of studies. Um, they um, do test you an ECG, a urinalysis, a blood sample, so on and so forth. But I mean, the money is good. If you can find a study that um, you feel you, it's a good cause to you and you really want to contribute to, then, and, and you're going to make money. So anyway, um, uh, yeah, so that's my day four and five um i head back to atlanta and um i find myself begging and groveling to i don't know loved ones maybe that i've hurt or that i don't speak to often and um So I was able to um, get the, the help or get help. And tonight I'm not on the street. I am in a room. Thank God. I, I got another shower. Thank God. I'm sleeping in a, a real bed tonight. And um, I'm happy. So what I did is I went over to the storage unit and I got all my dirty clothes and I'm gonna get up very early and I'm gonna wash everything the pillows the comforter um you know my underwear and my socks and pants and stuff because all of that stuff was dirty and it just didn't have the resources so now that I rented the room I said let me take advantage of everything I brought all that stuff here I'm going to um, wash early in the morning. Um, I chose a place in Dunwoody where there's like Publix. It's it's in an area where there's a lot of resources. So um, in the morning, I'm going to wash and check out, take this stuff back and try and hold on to the money that I have so that I can rent a car i was uh finally approved with lyft and so the hope is that um you know i'll be able to make money with lyft i'll sleep in the car i have the crunch membership i'll shower i'll bathe there and i have the storage facility so we'll see how that goes thank you to all my supporters again if um, all you can do is give prayer, please, because I receive prayer. I believe in prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus is always, always working. And we just sometimes just don't understand, see, or are not on the right track. But I'm, I'm working on leaning towards his understanding and not mine. Um... And yeah, so your prayers are 
appreciated and accepted. And for those of you who are able to help financially, I am accepting Cash App donations. Um, you can send your donations to M Castillo 728. That's M C A S T I L L O 728 um, via Cash App. A dollar. I mean, I appreciate a dollar. Two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars, whatever you can give. And if you can't give money, your prayers. Just like spam the comments. Let me know you understand. Like if there's people in your area who are facing adversity, people in your family, if you are facing adversity, let's link up. If you're here in Georgia, let's figure out how we can get ourselves out of this crazy situation um moving forward i like i want to take my real estate experience expertise to acquire a building and really help like provide real resources for people in need for women who are displaced not a day like have them on a crazy line and give them food that tastes like cardboard like real resources like us a, a real safe haven i i think that's like why i've been put through this um journey and um so yeah we'll see how everything um pans out like tonight I have mixed feelings because it feels good to be in a bed, but I know it's temporary. And so, um, anyway, um, I love you guys. For all my day ones, what's up? Love you. All my new subscribers, uh, thank you for tuning in. Make sure that you hit that post notification bell. So that when I do get a chance to post, you are made, you are notified. Um, like I said, I don't know where I'll be and what the Wi-Fi and data situation will be. Uh, but I am chronicling. Um, all right, guys, I love y'all. I'm going to get some rest. Peace.